Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Russell 2000 Index and US Equity Market Commentary. Just a quick reminder that it is a public holiday in the US markets on Monday and we have an early close at 11.30am for the Russell 2000. Uh, so happy Martin Luther King Day to all of you who will be celebrating that holiday. Hope you have a great day off. And just for the rest of you outside of America, please remember that there will be shortened trading hours on that day. Let's have a look at the charts for today and see exactly what's happened. So what's happened is that the Russell was trading within this range. It had come up to test this upper resistance level of 800, which we'll look at in a moment on a weekly chart. And it was kind of within a range from 780 to 800. This is now broken up to the upside out of that range ever so slightly. It's broken up. We're currently trading at around about 805. So here was the zone mark, these two lines here, 780 up to 800. I'm still looking for a pullback towards the averages. As price moves this far away and gets this overextended, it's really due a pullback in. If we just come and have a look at this monthly chart and just have a look at We've come right up. Again, we're kind of still within this range where price has been testing these levels before, and we've come a long way from the averages. If you look at this chart, anywhere that price moves a long way away, the thing is it has to snap back. And now we've had one, two, three, four, and we're in the middle of the fifth significant up month. The further away we get, the further up we go, the more it's kind of like gravity pushing price back down towards those averages. It has to come back eventually. And if we look at this weekly chart, it's moved a long way as well. We started to look bearish for a couple of weeks, and yet we've just pushed straight back on up again. Now, now, saying all of that, there's no resistance on this chart now until we get up to around about 8.30. Up around 8.30, that's a good 25 points from where we are now, 25 full points there on the Russell. We've got a good run north from here, uh, provided we can continue going up. What I would say, though, in this kind of situation, this is where I've become very cautious. Last week, I said I was cautiously bearish. I thought the price would come back down towards the average. But the reason I'm very cautious is because we're in such a strong uptrend, and it's very... Uh, you have to be very cautious going short on such a strong uptrend. This week I'll probably switch to cautiously bullish in that sense that I would be cautiously taking small long positions and I'd much prefer to be taking intraday positions in this kind of environment because we are looking, uh, we're in a very strong trend but we're looking overextended, we're looking like we need a pullback and that pullback has to come. It doesn't have to come this week or next but the further away price gets the more pressure there is and a pullback has to come eventually. Price cannot keep on going in a straight line. So the further we go, the more pressure is building on that bit of a sell-off. Let's have a look at some of the other charts here and just see if when you know when the sell-off might occur. As far as the daily chart goes, this is now looking very bullish. We've just pulled back into the buy zone, we're pushing off again, and it's looking bullish. That's why I'm cautious cautiously bullish because the daily chart looks good. We've now broken weekly chart resistance and therefore looking like good continued momentum to the upside, just looking so overextended on the weekly and monthly that we have to be cautious and that pullback has to come eventually. Let's just look at a few of the other index markets though and just see how these might back up our trading. And if we come to the Dow here, coming out to a weekly chart and just looking at where resistance is on the chart, you'll see that we're in that kind of a resistance zone again now. From around about 11,620 up to around about 11,770, we're in this zone where there's been multiple touches on the charts. And we've come up and see we've actually tested the upper region of that and failed. Now we're coming up and we're testing it again. So what we really want to see is can that push through there. The Dow as well is quite overextended from its averages on both weekly and monthly charts, very much like the Russell 2000 is. Come and have a look at the S&P. And on the S&P here, let's look at it on a weekly chart. You'll see actually we're coming right up into resistance. It's a big number as well, 1,300, multiple touches historically. That's what I'm looking for, points of memory where price has turned around at these, you know, as precise as possible, looking back at where there's been turning points on these charts in the past. And 1,300 has been a significant one. I'm looking for it to perhaps be one again here. As we come up, we get very overextended there on the weekly chart. Had some really good strong up weeks there and now coming into a big number of 13 and resistance all the way back at levels not tested since uh, 2008. And so if we look back at this high, 2008 was the last time we were at this point and I'm looking, you know, at that is probably likely to act as some resistance, certainly to be a big level for price to get through and really show just how strong stocks are if it can push up through there. If we come to the NASDAQ, this is at levels not seen since 2000. And we're all the way back here. 2000 was the last time we are trading up around this 2450 uh, type level, uh, which is really where the next resistance is. So we're at 2320 now, but looking at where the next point on this chart where price might run into any form of resistance, we've smashed through these previous highs back in 2007, and we're really looking strong in terms of momentum, but also looking overextended in terms of very much like the others, we've moved very far quite quickly, and we're due just a little bit of a snapback. Even the daily chart on the NASDAQ is looking overextended, unlike the others, which were looking not too bad, the daily chart here is looking quite overextended. So coming back and just tying this up on the Russell, 
there is absolutely no doubt about it that this, this market is in an uptrend, that stocks are very bullish across the board. That's why any time when, when I turn bearish here, it would be very cautious. I'd be more looking to not take long positions than I would to be taking any shorts. And if I did take shorts, it would be more intraday shorts I preferred. Maybe build into a bigger swing position if we did start to see a good sell-off. In the shorter term, until I see another change, even though we're coming up to some resistance and things like the S&P, as far as the Russell 2000 goes, we've broken through that level at 800. We are at the moment holding just above that level. We don't have any real resistance up until around 8030. So I would be looking to take smaller positions than usual on the long side, expecting price to perhaps come up and test this level, but keeping a very close eye for a turnaround on other major equity markets as well, looking specifically at that S&P and how that reacts at 1300. If the S&P can get through 1300, I'd be very easily expecting the Russell to get up to 8030. However, if the S&P really starts to fail there and struggle there, then I'll be looking for this pullback, probably back down around or around about 750 to 740 as a minimum pullback for the Russell, which I believe is coming soon. It's just a case of whether or not it comes this week. We still, of course, need trading opportunities this week, and I remain cautiously bullish with small long positions to the upside until I see otherwise. I hope that helps you, and have a wonderful day off for those of you in America celebrating Martin Luther King Day.